es cuyar mate. Francesca writes, I have an online business and it's expanding and I want to learn how to work with a virtual assistant. Here is my conflict. I'm a little controlling when it comes to my work and I want to do everything myself. With that said, how do I transition from being a control freak to trusting my virtual assistant? How do I strategize which tasks to assign and how do I learn the skill of delegation? Awesome question, Francesca. Very good cue. So Francesca, we are gonna A your cue really hard and really good right now. First thing I want you to know, it's one of the most common questions that I get asked about growing a business because delegation is very important and many entrepreneurs are control freaks, so you are not alone. But as you know, doing it all yourself is a recipe for disaster, or at the very least, just staying very small. Now here's what the great Andrew Carnegie had to say about that, and it's a tweetable. No person will make a great business who wants to do it all herself or get all the credit. Andrew Carnegie. So here is my recipe for delegating your way to success. Number one, you want to make a list of all the tasks that you do to keep the ship running. That means that everything that you do that has to get done to keep the business afloat needs to get written down. Number two, you want to isolate a chunk of tasks that someone else could do for you. Now the easiest places to look for this are admin related and customer service. For example, when I hired my first assistant, that's exactly what I had her do. Work with the calendar, scheduling appointments, uh, client intake forms, customer service, and even helping me publish my newsletter. Number three, you want to create step-by-step -step instructions for each task. So whether those are written instructions or you do video trainings using something like ScreenFlow, you want to get the step-by-step -step process down. The goal here is to create a process, a repeatable system that anyone could follow to help you run your business. Just in case the first person you hire doesn't work out, or let's say she does work out and you promote your assistant and you have to hire someone else, you're going to have training materials in place so the next person is going to know exactly what to do. Number four, you need to train them and give them feedback. So here's something really important. You don't want to assume they're going to do it correctly the first time out of the gate. You're going to need to do some hand-holding and some overseeing and expect some mistakes. So here's an example. Let's say you're having your assistant handle your emails. You can have her CC in you with all the communication so you can kind of oversee her language, how she's responding to people. You can give her tweaks and make some adjustments to make sure that she's communicating on point with your brand. If you got an assistant working with you on a larger project, make sure you encourage them to come back to you throughout the process for feedback, make sure they're on the right track, all that kind of stuff. And just know up front that training someone new can take anywhere from two weeks to six months or even more depending on the complexity of what you want them to do for you. Number five, you need to set clear expectations. This one is so important. Never give anyone an assignment without giving them a clear deadline. It's so, so helpful. Now once you start with one assistant, you're probably going to grow more. So you're going to need some type of tool to help you stay organized and keep all your deadlines and your communications and your projects and your files in one place. A great project management tool that we use in our company is called Basecamp by 37 Signals. I highly recommend it. Bottom line is learning how to delegate is essential for every entrepreneur to learn, especially in the beginning when you're a control freak. So these five steps will get you started. Now I'm going to delegate a task to you. So tell me your feedback. I want to know, do you have any tips for delegation, especially when you're first starting out? Have any good do's and don'ts to share? Leave a comment below or even better, leave me a video response. Now, if you like this video, hit that little like button, ding, ding, ding. And of course, share it with all your friends in the social interwebs. Thank you so much for watching. One more thing, if you're not yet on my newsletter list, you need to come on over to marieforleo.com, go in the upper right-hand corner, put your name and email in, and I'm gonna send you even more awesome tips for your business and your life. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Francesca, we are gonna A your cue right now. We're gonna do it hard, and we're gonna do it good. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm gonna delegate. Blah, blah, blah. Ah.